Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And if you find our content helpful, consider giving us a super thanks to support the channel. Your support helps us bring you more amazing content. Let's get started. If you have bricked or locked GM Actelco E98, E39, E39A, E83, E84, or other ECM modules, you can recover them using a shadow password in boot mode. Here is a detailed guide on the process and tools required. What is the shadow password used for? The shadow password is crucial for entering recovery mode for ECM modules. Each ECM has a unique password. If an ECM module becomes unresponsive during programming or is locked by a tuner, knowing the shadow password allows you to read and write the correct firmware. Steps to recover bricked ECMs. 1. Understanding the shadow password. Each ECM module has a shadow password for boot mode. This password allows you to enter recovery mode and access the module if it becomes unresponsive or locked. The shadow password can be read while the ECM is still functioning. 2. Required tools. IO Terminal. MND Flasher. Obstar DC706-G3. These tools can read the shadow password from the ECM. Other tools like FG Tech, KESS, AutoTuner, CMD, PCM Flash, and Zorse Multiprog cannot read the shadow password and are therefore ineffective for recovery without it. Even Flex requires the password to enter boot mode. 3. Reading the shadow password. Connect the ECM to one of the recommended tools, IO Terminal or Obstar DC706-G3. Use the tool to read the emulated EEPROM, MPC flash, and shadow password. For example, with the Obstar DC706, you can save a file containing the shadow password by clicking Read Flash. 4. Recovering the ECM. If the ECM is bricked and unresponsive, connect it in boot mode. Use the shadow password to gain access. Restore the ECM by reading and writing the correct firmware. 5. Example recovery process. Device used. IO Terminal and Alientech KESS3. Scenario. A customer bricked a Delco E39 ECM. Solution. Use IO Terminal to calculate the shadow password from the ECM label. Procedure. Open the ECM cover and load boot recovery mode. Connect the tool and read the shadow password. Identify and rebuild the corrupted data blocks. Flash the original and modified files back to the ECM. 6. Additional tips. The Obstar tool can also modify the VIN and rewrite it with the shadow password. Always ensure you have the correct tools and passwords before attempting recovery. By following these steps and using the correct tools, you can recover bricked or locked GM Delco ECMs, saving time and money on replacements and reprogramming. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. And if you really enjoyed the content, consider clicking on the super thanks button to show your support. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, Take care and happy diagnosing.